everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is day six on this Walt Disney World trip and we have something very exciting planned for this morning. We are doing Keys to the Kingdom tour and it's the very first time I'm going to do it. We are going to take you along. Obviously we can't show you everything because there are some behind the scenes things but that that we can show you we will. We are then headed over to the Animal Kingdom Lodge to check into a Savannah View room which I'm very very excited about. So make sure to stay tuned so you don't miss any of it. Also there are extended evening hours at Epcot tonight. Because we will now be staying at a deluxe resort we will be invited to those so stay tuned for that as well. We definitely have a few rides at Epcot that we still want to ride and other than that, let's go. If you haven't been following along, this is day six of our trip. It's also New Year's Day and official rope drop is in about half an hour. And yeah, starts in two minutes apart. Yeah, early, early morning hours for resort guests is in two minutes and these are security queues. So if you want to get a good, obviously we can't, but if you're not much of a drinker and you're not bad at early mornings and you want to get some rides done, I would probably recommend on New Year's Day doing a rope drop because it seems as though nobody is here. Like this is surely the emptiest we've ever seen it at this kind of time, don't you think? Yeah, because the queues are crazy. Yeah. Like obviously there will be more people in because they let you in a few minutes early. Um, our Keys to the Kingdom tour time is at 9 o'clock and you're supposed to be there 15 minutes early. Also some more information about it, we paid around $150 each plus tax. It's a five hour tour that includes lunch. You can book it through the Disney website but if you're English, good luck. You'll need a VPN or some kind of luck, I guess. <laughs> Hence why we only booked it yesterday. So you can book it the day before if you're super lucky, but if not, it's 60 days out. So Rachel's actually done this tour before, that's why we're doing it, because she, I, rudely, she went when I wasn't there, which, I mean, the fact that I wasn't there to start with is pretty rude. But anyway, she has done it, but now she can't seem to remember where you start the tour from. So we need to Google that, and then we're gonna go check ourselves in. Turns out it is the Town Square Theatre where you meet. So as you come in through the gates, you literally turn right and it's just there. Guys, look at this. I got a name badge and they said it's mine to keep forever and ever. How fun. We also got like a headset to borrow so that we can hear the tour and a free bottle of water. Buzzing. She just told us that Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor is controlled by a PS3. That's so funny. Oh, they no longer make them. <laughs> That's so funny. They had to buy it from eBay because they don't sell them anymore. I love that. I didn't always wonder how they do Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor and now we know. Apparently we're going on Jingle Cruise. It's got a 50 minute wait, but we don't have to wait because we have paid a lot of money for this tour. And it's still Jingle Cruise, which is really exciting. She just told us it's the Lightning Lane Plus, i.e. you walk through the exit. I love that. The live animals, Walt Disney still wanted his skippers to spiel educational information. However, one day he was walking through Disneyland and he heard two women talking about whether or not they were going to ride the Jingle Cruise. And he heard one say to the other, I don't want to do that today, I've done that one before. Walt Disney didn't like hearing that. And so he kind of went to his friend, Imagineer Mark Davis, and he said, well, what can we do to make the Jungle Cruise more exciting? And Mark Davis was the one who came up with the idea of the Jungle Cruise becoming a more funny attraction. And so Mark Davis was the one who added in these more humorous scenes to the Jungle Cruise. really interesting rather than the normal version they tell you like facts about how Jungle Cruise came about and how the changes have happened over the time it's really good right we've now made the Picos bills for some lunch I went for the standard the veggie rice bowl you get your cute little name tag and inside is your key to the kingdom which is really cool you also get a drink included but they were quite limited so I just went for water Rachel got a sprite and they also have like a whole salad bar and stuff like they used to 
in the main restaurant. So we just did our first bit actually backstage. Of course you're not allowed to film anything. But it was really cool. We learned some new stuff and we got to see loads of the parade floats and like them getting ready with the parade. We learned about like how different parade floats are hard to drive, where the drivers sit. It was really, really interesting. So far, I would highly recommend this. We're about halfway through. Lunch at Peacock Bills is included, and of course, you know, we love Peacock Bills because we get it every time we come here. But yeah, so far, we're having a great time. It's about halfway left, and later today, we're going to get to go into the Utilidors underneath the Magic Kingdom, and I'll tell you about those later as we go. Also, it just happens that the Festival of Fantasy is going past. Perfect timing, really. Now headed aboard Haunted Mansion. It's a 50 minute wait and we are getting straight in through the exit. That is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror. 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 Ghosts are Okay, you definitely can't see me, but uh, before we came in, the lady gave us loads of facts about the Haunted Mansion, and now we're getting to ride it so we can see all the things that she told us about, which is really cool. I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you want to know what the facts are, you'll have to do the tour yourself. Um, but it's really cool. Like, there's so many things I didn't know about, uh, and it'll be really interesting to ride this again now that we know. So apparently in the Tangled area where the Tangled Tower and the restrooms slash toilets are, there are 10 hidden Pascals and one of them is right there. I have no idea where the rest are. We are going to look for them and I'll let you know if we find any. But that's the one the lady knows about apparently. Also apparently all these like hoof prints, you can see them like there, they're Maximus's hoofs and some of them, I can't get close enough to show you because it's a bit busy, but some of them say Maximus at the top which is really cool. There's another hidden Pascal over there. We found about five of them in total, but I'm not going to show you where they are, that's too boring, you'll have to find them yourselves. Well, we've made it out and that was really, really fun, I would highly recommend. Also something to note, there was a guy in a mobility scooter on it, so I can only imagine, it is 16 plus only, but if you have somebody, so obviously maybe not, not going to be a pram, but if you've got somebody in a wheelchair or a mobility scooter or something like that, then you are fine to do it. There's lifts and stuff, oh look at that! That's cute. And Stitch. Uh, we are now headed to go and check into Animal Kingdom Lodge, so let's do it. 
There wasn't really much that we could film, but I tried to get some little bits. But what I will say is the, my favorite thing that I learned was apparently about two months before he died, somebody asked Walt Disney in a meeting, what would happen if you got hit by a bus tomorrow? And he said, nothing. My brother runs this company. I just piddle around. That really made me laugh. That's really funny. And apparently uh, it was Roy, obviously Walt Disney had already passed away, that really wanted it to be called Walt Disney World, not just Disney World, because he wanted it to be all about his brother, not about himself which is really cool I really really love that honestly if your party's all over 16 or you know you've got someone to watch your kids I don't know I would highly recommend doing it it is quite a lot of money but I'd say it's well worth it obviously your lunch and a couple of drinks is included and it's you know it's five hours it's a really good way to spend a day I really really did enjoy that we've made it to Animal Kingdom Lodge and they have an enormous Christmas tree when I say enormous, I mean enormous. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. We're not going to go try to check in. It's only about half two. So uh, we might be a little bit on the early side. Whoa, it's dark. It turns out check in at DVC Resorts is 4 p.m. and it's only half two. So our room isn't ready yet, but she said we'll get a notification on the app when it is. So for now, we're just going to wander around the shop, maybe get a drink, and just chill for a while until our room is ready. I probably do this every single time. <laughs> I really want to buy this. How much is it? Yep. How did you know? It's so nice though. This would be nice. Oh yeah, that would be nice. How much is it? Sixty. Bargain. This is cute. Look at it's Forty-five. I'm loving the. Ooh. I'm loving the like hotel specific merch it's definitely cool they have a whole 2024 section of course it's the first day of 2024 this stuff has been out for a few days to be fair you can get it all uh this is probably my favorite thing how nice is that it's 30 dollars i think i already showed it in another video but i really like it look at this 2024 lounge vibe but does that mean you can only wear it in 2024? Like one, it's got the Mickey and the Minnie right in the middle with the Tinkerbell. Like oh that. yeah, it's very on centre and it's got 2024 there. But does this mean you can only use it in 2024? No, I have a... I have a, look, I have a oh 24. yeah, the 2018, so maybe it's fine. It's, fine. it's $78. I like that. So it's been about 10 minutes max and we now have our room. It's 5529. We are on the Zebra Trail on the fifth floor. And we're going to go take a peek. So the bad thing about Animal Kingdom Lodge is their system is very complicated. So we're in the fives, we're on the fifth floor. But these are five threes and we're in five fives. But we have no idea how to get there because it's quite big. Rachel's is asking yeah. someone. To get to our room, we have to walk past the Royal Kuba Suite and it's got double doors. That's when you know it's fancy. Anyway, we walked across the bridge in the lobby and we're now in the right section. So this is a good sign. It's still quite far away though, I think, but at least it's inside. Yeah, we're about 100 away, I think. Guys, there's a pool out there. It looks massive. I don't remember it being that big. And then on this side, there's... Sephora. <laughs> We've named that. Um, can you even see it? There's a zebra over there. I've named it Zebora. I don't know why. I'm blaming Rach. Here we go. Are you guys ready for a tour? So as you walk in, there's a little cupboard with an iron and an iron board. Very nice. And on the other side there is a full length mirror. Look at my snazzy outfit. And then we walk through and there's like a little kitchenette. So it's got a sink, a fridge, coffee maker but no kettle, a toaster, a microwave. And they do have like plastic and paper cups, plates and cutlery and stuff. Uh, and tea and coffee making equipment. On this side there's double sinks and H2O products because we're staying in a deluxe resort which is always a perk. And then through here is the toilet and bath, it's a bath shower. And again H2O products in here. We then continue through, there is a little luggage rack thing, a wardrobe. Ooh, with the Dematis and Chaloner party, very nice. Um, I always like this dresser, it looks really like fancy I guess table and chairs with a mirror above this is going to be my bed this time because we've swapped over so this pulls out into a double sofa bed and then the main bed this is going to be Rach's again we have one of these hey disney things we didn't try it really last time so maybe we'll have another go uh, and i'll film it this time the only thing about these rooms is the lack of plugs there's two usbs and two normal us plugs there 
Oh yeah, there's two, actually, this is what happened last time. I did a really rubbish tour and then I realised there was loads. So there's two and two, two and two. Where are they? Down here somewhere. Oh no, there's only two there. Just there's enough though. I f it might not. It might have been at contemporary. I don't know. Once we were somewhere and I couldn't find any plugs, and then I found loads. There's none here. No, there's four in the bathroom, but I wouldn't really use them if I were you. That might not end well. And there must be one that that's plugged into that you could probably take out if you really wanted to. Yeah, there's another two down there. And then the best bit. Let's have a look off our balcony. Anything? Oh, ooh, they're cute little birds. There's no animals. The There's something there. So last time we stayed here, we didn't have an official savannah view, but there was always giraffes there and sometimes zebras. Like it was actually a really good savannah view, even though it wasn't officially one. Whereas here, there's not much. I feel like they're wild birds, so they don't count. Like Do you? They're on the line. Oh yeah, Spikes. they're Spikes. also Spikes. wild. So basically, we've paid for a savannah view and there's no animals. There is one thing over there. But anyway, we'll keep an eye. Sometimes they move around. Obviously, they're animals. They can go wherever they like. At some point, there will be some out here. So stay tuned for that. Turns out there is actually a zebra out here, but I can't see it right now. It's like just through the tree. So at some point, it'll walk and we'll be able to see it. Oh, there it is. You probably can't see it on here. I can't remember. I can't. It's basically on that path through there if you can see it well done you but I can't see it through the camera to point to you where it is I can see it in real life anyway we're now going to sit and chill for a sec so now that we're all checked in we do need to go grab our luggage from the from Bell Services because we got it transferred over here from All Star Sports we're now going to chill for a little while because obviously we stayed up really late last night and now we had to get up early this morning to go to Keys to the Kingdom but we are going to head to Magic Kingdom again later to watch Happily Ever After because that is going to be the first showing of it this year and uh, we haven't seen it this trip and then we are going to head over to Epcot because now we're staying at a deluxe resort there are extended evening hours for deluxe resort guests at Epcot tonight so we might go there and try and get maybe two or three rides done this evening before heading back here after a while of napping we are now headed out to Magic Kingdom you can see behind me it's gone dark that's how long it's been but we're headed out for happily ever after but on our way we have found a draft I don't know if you guys will be able to see it if you can see that tree there right between the two branches there is a draft we've gone blurry how rude Where's the other one? You see him back up in the next tray. Oh yeah. So there's one draft just here. And then the other one is there. On our way out, we're just headed to the Mara because Rachel wants a brew. And um, we have to go, this is really the only time I'd say in this hotel you have to go outside. I think the gym's also outside. <laughs> it's like over there somewhere. Um, but that's just something to be aware of. Like it is covered the whole way, so if it's horrible weather, it doesn't really matter. But you do have to go outside. Here's the resort activities. Let's have a look. A lot of them you have to pay for, but also some of them are free. There's an art tour. We're not really art people. We probably won't do that. Movie Under the Stars. What day is it? Any ideas? Monday. Jungle Book. Wednesday is Soul and Friday is Elemental. Campfire is 5.30 till 7 o'clock every night. They have free marshmallows, unless you want like a whole s'mores kit, then you have to buy it. If you're interested, this is the Mara menu, so it's the quick service. And if you're vegan, the best thing on the menu is the Marrakesh falafel platter. I will more than likely get it at some point and show you guys. Obviously, I can't speak for anything else, but if you want to have a look, these are the things you can get. Biggest downside no power aid they have got root beer devs would be happy we've got fanta that i'll drink they have got sprite zero but apparently i don't like that anymore and then minute made zero sugar i'll drink so it's not the worst but for those of you like me that don't really like fizzy drinks the lack of power aid is kind of sad if you want a tea bag for some reason they keep it over here by the register instead of by the rest of the drinks don't know why but anyway there they are i reckon one of these days i'm gonna try a sweet tea iced tea what do you think? I always think this is, I've never tried it before, but I always feel like this is the chance, but at least it's free. They also have hot chocolate, but obviously it's not vegan, sorry, it's not focusing. On that screen it says hot chocolate. 
and then they've got like decaf and normal coffee I don't normally tell you about all this but just in case you're interested and then all of the soft drinks that I just said I also noticed they have the acai blueberry pomegranate vitamin water which I might get I know I've tried it before and it's quite strong so I usually have that and then like half that and half water and that's not too bad as well especially for kids because I feel like it's not the most kid friendly unless your kids love fizzy drinks but there are a few uh, non fizzy options look at this a ginger ass Gingerbread cookie giraffe. Not vegan, but fun. One of the main drawbacks of staying in a deluxe resort, and I do say this, like, we love the deluxe resort, but there is one drawback that we can think of, is that the drinks only are open while the actual restaurant's open, or at least the ones we've been to recently. They shut at 11 and reopen at 7, whereas in the value resorts, they're open 24 hours. So if you're the type of person that loves to go get drinks at any time of the day, deluxe resorts might not be for you. I have no idea about moderate resorts. Can't remember. We've not stayed in one in so long. That I don't, I'm not sure. That could be either way, but we know for a fact that in the All Stars resorts, the drinks are open 24 seven. You can just go grab yourself a soft drink, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, at literally any time of the day. Whereas here, you have to stick to their hours. And it often seems that we're getting back from the park after 11, and sometimes we're leaving before seven, which means we don't make the use out of the drinks. I mean, it's not a massive complaint, but it is something to know. Like, if you're gonna be dead disappointed about that, then maybe don't stay at a deluxe resort. Well, we've made it back to Magic Kingdom. We are, it's about 45 minutes until Happily Ever after so we're just kind of gonna chill I feel like we could maybe go and ride something but because it's such a big park it's kind of risky as to whether we'd be back in time so then we're just gonna look in the shops for a bit maybe go get a sneaky doll whip question mark I haven't told Rachel about that plan yet um who knows but anyway we'll be watching happily ever after very soon look at this I've never seen this before it's from Rapunzel apparently how much is it guess 30. What a bargain. You could just shoot them at random people. That would be well fun. <laughs> yeah, but they're like suckers. They won't pop them. Yeah. How cute are these? They're like the babies of all the princesses. How much is it? Guess. I'm going to say 40. 30? 29.99? That is a bargain. Yeah, that is a bargain. Well, this is new. What does it do? <laughs> like popping and out. Oh my gosh. That's fun. How much is it? Guess. Know, about 15. Oh, you got that one. Well done. Guys, I've just had a realisation. It's New Year's Day and they're not playing Christmas tunes anymore. It's just random twinkling songs. Anyway, I've convinced Rachel we're going for a doll whip. Current wait times if you're interested. Space Mountain's 80 minutes. Whoa. Oh. Other than that, they were quite small. And Tron, the queue's closed. And once again, what did we do? We forgot to get a boarding pass. Let's <laughs> boarding pass. Well, the first, the first one we were asleep. The second one we were on the tour. And the third one, which wasn't Tron, it was Guardians for tonight. We were also asleep. <laughs> So basically, it's not going very well for us and we keep forgetting to do it. One of these days, hopefully, we'll get on Tron. How good does this look, guys? It never gets old. If you've never had a Doll Whip before and you're coming to Disney World, you have to get one. It's the best thing ever. to grab the monorail over to Epcot. Cancel what I said earlier, they've got Christmas tunes on again, so that's good. Also, this is the queue for the monorail. It's not huge, but we might have to wait a couple before we can get on. It says wait time, but then it doesn't say how many minutes, it's blank. 
So it's currently about 10 to 9. Park officially shuts at 9, which means Luminous also starts at 9, which means also extended um, hours for a deluxe resort guest starts at 9. So it's 9 till 11. We have three rides that we want to do, which are Frozen Ever After, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and Test Track. So we're basically just going to go in and try and do those three rides as fast as we possibly can. And once we're done, we're going to go back to the hotel. So stay tuned to see how long it takes us. The queue times right now are staying fairly long. We're looking around maybe just under an hour to two hours. But we'll see if that's actually accurate. And the rides are shut to most guests in about 10 minutes or so. And what is this? Oh. Cool. <laughs> it is indeed. Which is cute. So when we got on the monorail, test track was saying 75, it's now saying 45 and with Luminous just about to start and that being away from the World Showcase, we're going to try and start there and see if we can get on it fairly quickly. Alright, here we go. Luminous has just started. It's Whoa! It's 9 o'clock on the dot so we'll see how long this takes us to get through. It's been 15 minutes and we are at the studio section which is basically in my eyes the end of the queue so that was a lot quicker than it said it was going to be. Also Remy and Frozen are both now down to 45 minutes apparently as well. Here we go. Make sure you scan your magic band or your ticket. English. Imagine if I accidentally pressed the wrong one. It's alright because you have to confirm. It's not the same as uh, Spaceship Earth when I just randomly clicked the wrong place. This is going to be the best one ever. Really short. Should be in fat. No, that's good. Yeah, and wide. Well, really, yeah, wide. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, what do we want? Hybrid? Yeah. Whoa, ho, ho. You can't spin it around. Oh, you can. How good's that? Yes, guys, we're definitely going to win with this one. I always say this, but this might be the best one yet. Although there's a fair chance we're not going to win, so our stats are looking pretty low. Efficiency 74, capability 48, power 48, responsiveness 40. I think they're out of 100. Oh well, who cares? It looks great. <laughs> Sneak peek at our next door neighbours. <laughs> Including the pre-show and then the little queue after, it's only taken us 25 minutes to get right to the front. Remember when you get here, only tap the person's band who who tapped it on the machine in there. Otherwise, they just give you a random car. Okay, do it. Yes, do it on mine. Ta-da! We're ready. Oh, we're preparing to board. Apparently Frozen Ever After only has 25 minutes, so that's where we're headed next. Guys, this is unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen it like this before. <laughs> Frozen is 15 minutes. I genuinely don't think I've ever seen it with that low of a queue. Let's sprint there immediately <laughs> before it goes back up. Test track is 50. Test track has gone up to 50. Guys, this is unreal. It's gone down to 10. And you can see why, if it'll focus and get a bit brighter. There's only a few people in this line and they're all going the other way. It's currently 9.42, so we shall see how long this really takes to get through. Well, it's been dead on 10 minutes and we have made it to the front. That's very accurate. I'm impressed.
It's 10 o'clock on the dot. We have vacated from Froze Ever After and are headed to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, which is directly across the lake. We are, of course, not going to swim there. We're going to walk. Apparently, it has a 25 minute wait. So, as soon as that's done, we are going to leave. This could be the most efficient deluxe park hours at Epcot that we've ever done, I think. Mm -hmm. It's very empty, I must say. I think everyone's probably flagging after New Year yesterday, but we had a nap, so we are prepared for this. <laughs> Guys, we've just made it to Ratatouille and it's just changed from 25 to 15 minutes. Have you ever seen? seen Ratatouille with a 15 minute wait. This is insane. It's currently exactly quarter past 10, so let's see how long this takes to get through. This is really happening. 15 minute standby. We're at the glasses bit, we haven't stopped walking. This is the best day ever. We have not stopped walking and the ride is there. This is officially a walk-on. I would never, ever have guessed that would happen. It's been two minutes. I didn't stop walking once. It's been two minutes and we are on this ride. I didn't stop the whole time. That's the best thing ever. Let's go. Oh, it's a bit jolty. Guys, we've stopped. What's gonna happen? <laughs> this has never happened before. So please stay seated and we'll continue our adventure in just a moment. Thank you. They've even stopped the music now. How long are we gonna be here for? That's the question. We've actually been waiting a while now. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've never been stopped on this ride before, so I don't know how often it happens. Does it happen a lot? I don't know. It, it breaks quite a lot this ride. Uh, maybe it does. It's down, but I don't know. Kind of random. We have not really had an update other than just to stay sat down, but they've turned all the music off and stuff, so I guess we just sit here and wait now. While we're here, all the rides other than Remy's, which who knows what's going on with that because we're still stuck. All the rides are 15 minutes or less and it's only half past 10 so you could definitely get loads of stuff done at this point if you really wanted to. I feel like we might be about to move. We're going again! Right. Yay! Let's do it. I think it's been like 15 minutes so that's not too bad. Is it actually doing it? Woohoo! Here we go! Yep, guess so. Time to head home. I think we're about 20 minutes early. It would have been much longer than that if we hadn't got stuck in there for ages. But either way, we've done everything we came to do and we walked on to Remy, which literally never, ever, ever happens. Even if you have a line in the lane, I bet you still have to wait at least five minutes. Yeah. So that was insane. It's literally just us on the bus. That's Rach. If you're interested, there is not another soul in sight. The private bus ride just for us. There is quite some <gasps> commotion, the trees go in. No way. We only just got to see it in the morning. I bet you anything it's gonna be completely gone. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. I guess it's because it's quite late. But they're literally about to take this giant tree down any minute. So get one last glimpse. This is it, it's going. I can't believe it. They've literally roped it off, it says caution. This is it, goodbye tree. It was nice seeing you. I'm glad we checked in today, otherwise we would not have seen it. Look, they're literally moving it. They're literally taking these off as we speak. There's a woman there, unattaching it. This is mental. They're taking the lights off. That one's yeah. gone, that one's gone, that one's gone. That one's gone. Yeah, that one's that's gone. gone. <gasps> this is mad. How are we here at the exact second they're taking the Christmas decorations down? Oh, it's kind of sad. I feel like we don't want to watch it. It's a bit... I'm so glad we got to see it though. Me too. 
We have now made it back to the room for the evening. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. It was something a little bit different for a change. Unfortunately, I couldn't get loads and loads of footage for Keys to the Kingdom, but I got what I could and we did really, really enjoy it. So I'm so glad we went. We also had a really successful night at Epcot extended evening hours for Deluxe Resort guests. So that was really, really good. If you did enjoy this vlog, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Tomorrow we are headed to Hollywood Studios and Disney Springs. So make sure you don't miss it. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye.